dog is not happy. So another one down, and uh, yeah, that was nice. Uh, I, I did notice the art control on this guy is really stable, and uh, you know, it's, oh, let's get some light, light, give me light. Yeah, so pretty happy, pretty happy with this guy. One thing I did remember was like, uh, I had a shitty ground, so I'm just, I just threw this clamp right here on top of this mill scale and didn't do anything about it. So uh, I put this piece of copper on there and I kind of gave it the wiggle wobble and uh, that fixed that low end wonder thing. Uh, and you'll see over my welding table, what I actually have is a copper lug and uh, some copper wire. And this is what I, I usually ground to with this nice copper clamp. Everything copper, 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 copper is good. Copper, copper. Uh, so yeah, always have a good ground if you're if you're having problems with stuff. So yeah, if you're having problems or little issues with stuff, always go back to your basics, your ground, your leads, your gas, your gas flow. All those things are just quick things to look at because uh, usually, Usually it's not the machine, usually it's you. It's me, you, gotta own it. But I was born with a penis and I can TIG weld. Possibly, maybe, <laughs> we'll see. So uh, yeah, lots more welding to do, so we'll just keep on keeping on. I think I'm gonna do a mild steel divided collector. You guys, it'll be the same as the last two, except just a different configuration. Uh, and then I got some stainless steel welding to do, so we'll check that out and see how it works. I'm expecting good things. So I thought I'd uh, record this guy. A lot of times people, this is a question I get a lot. This is a question I get a lot, is people go, well, how do you get in between the runners? And uh, it's not it's not real difficult. You just get a nice uh, you know, GLS Fab number 16 cup and stick the tungsten out about like so. And then it's just a matter of kind of like plain uh, operation thread in the middle there. So uh, this is a stainless steel. So excited to see how this gets. You guys wonder how how do you reach 
But Mike, how do you reach the inside of the little thingy between the runners? Well, that's how you do it. So, yeah, I mean, it's not as consistent. Like, got a little little inconsistent right there, but the rest of it looks pretty pretty decent. But like I said, I'm just uh, spoiled by my fancy HTB HTP flex head small torch. Um, yeah. So Everlast. Power TIG 200 DV. Yeah, it seems to be working really nice. Uh, one thing I have noticed is on the Vulcan, uh, so the, the cable that I got for my uh, Vulcan Pro TIG was about this size. Now this, this cable is seriously thicker. You see that? If I can do the comparison, the comparisons of the two, let's see. Ah, it's too short. Story of my life. But yeah, this guy is like, let's say, let's say half inch, not even half inch, like three eighths of an inch. Where this guy is like, it's like five eighths, you know? It's like even bigger than a half inch, I would guess. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. And what I'm getting at is my torch, usually on the Vulcan, like after I've done three of these uh, collectors, I welded that guy at 130 amps. I welded the other uh, three at uh, the two that are up there and then one down there. I welded all those at like 150 amps and uh, this guy is not killing me right now. Usually my legs would be burning from having the cord laying across it. So uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with that so far. So um, quickie test, I like it. I like it so far. We'll do some pulse welding. Uh, I got to make some wastegate provisions, and uh, and we'll, we'll basically. I have a, a super sweet spot I have for my HTP for welding 16 gauge uh, tubing together that I will share with you guys, and we'll try to replicate that on the Everlast. So Bob has decided to grace us with his presence this morning. See how woolly he's getting. It's been about five months since his last haircut. Huh, gotta survive these rough Houston winters. Huh, Bob? He's got a monkey fab, monkey fab, keep you clean sheet, huh? Is it a dress? Are you a cross dresser, Bob? <laughs> You're an asshole, huh, Bob? Mostly just asshole. So, yeah, everybody's wondering, where's Bob? How's Bob doing? These guys are pretty, they're not pretty decent. So can I get? It's always hard. Specifically, the consumer price index, which ah. is running above the Fed's two percent target, so we're watching that closely. Do, do, this coming do, week, a short do, week, do, will be a little focus. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make some wastegate nills. These are just uh, little drop-in kind of solutions for people that uh, need um, wastegates. They're turbo systems, right? So uh, this is, I usually weld this on uh, pulse. Don't have to, you can run most anything on DC. Uh, and then when I weld uh, 16 gauge, I have a, a super secret setting that I use. I'll show you guys, as long as you promise not to tell anybody. So let's get this guy on and we'll set up a pulse and see uh, how it is, how, how to set it up and how good it works. Uh, one of the cool things about the HTP, uh, the Invertig 221, is that you can store uh, settings. It has like 64 slots to store settings in, um, which makes life a little bit easier. So my, my secret scroll one is, is program 64, but I don't remember what it is. I know it's 120 pulses per second and 165 amps. So we're at 165 amps, our pulses, are 120 pulses per second and uh, let's see the pulse duration is 50 and then we have to find the background so the background is 20. So if I got this figured out right and you can read the directions always but I'm not a big directions guy we'll just figure it out so put the pulse frequency at 120 ish 
and then we got the pulse ratio at 20. I, th I think that's the same as the background current on my HTP, meaning that uh, it's the ratio of the pulse amps. So like what is the background? But we might fiddle with this to figure it out. And then the balance I think is the duration. That's like uh, how long it's pulsing. So if I got this set up bright, then that means we got 120 amps on the background pulse, it'll be 20% of the high, we'll set this to 165, and it'll be half. So that should mimic what we're doing. My secret squirrel, super magic secret squirrel settings. One down and uh another one to go so i'm sure you guys probably i'm probably deleted or cut most of that out or super fast forwarded it so um you guys don't want to suffer through that but a lot of times i'll get questions on like well mike how do you get way down into these little joints and the answer is always the same i just take my tongues in and i stick it out some ridiculous amount like that and i don't have any trouble uh there's no wind in my shop uh i turn the CFH 30, I, I leave it there. I, I use a lot of argon, I don't care. It doesn't, that, that's a minor cost to me to make sure I get my, my customers good quality products. Uh, and yeah, I'll just, I'll stick it out like that and just boom, and hit it. As long as you got it kind of at uh, some downward angle-ish, um, you can get away with a lot, <laughs> a lot with one of these cups. And you can pick up these cups at the website. It's uh, fab monkeyfabgarage.com so that was uh, kind of like my low amp test tells me how controllable it is how's the light, how's the light? probably not that good but uh, let's see if I can hold this still just really controllable nice arc goes right where I point it it's nice and smooth low amps I burn through on 16 gauge so that was like at 70 amps uh, running it just straight DC and uh, I really like it so great machine um, we'll do an aluminum tests I know everybody's gonna want to know how's it do aluminum probably better than me <laughs> the truth be known better than I can. Uh, so yeah, we'll do aluminum and then we'll get this thing raffled off, help some people out. Showing you guys a little bit more of how this thing does with the stainless. And uh, I like it, it's really nice. This is with my uh, the number 16 cup and uh, flowing like 30 CFH. This was with my top secret squirrel pulse setting that I told you guys about. Just to, please don't share it with anybody. And then this flange here, can we focus? No, we're not gonna focus. This flange here was just done with straight, uh, um, straight current. I did it about like, I think like 74 amps. And, uh, and it turned, but I used my 20. I cheated and used my big old uh, no, that is a 20. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did the 20 with both of this. So yeah, big 20 cup and uh, nice gas coverage straight Straight uh, focus Just straight um, DC right there and then the pulsy pulses on that guy And I'm pretty happy with the way just really smooth just really smooth controllable arc I still have to weld on the little little support guys on this guy but we just want to show you how it was going we're going to do a raffle and raffle this guy off will be like uh 10 bucks a ticket and uh we'll try to raise like a thousand bucks for this charity so there's a set I'll, I'll i'll throw in 500 bucks towards the machine but i can't afford the full price which is like 13 or 1400 dollars. i'll get the hard price for you guys so uh there'll be no doubt so we'll have like x amount of tickets that we'll need to sell um but yeah so stay tuned uh, and in the next video, we'll, 
we'll wrap this up. We'll do some pulse welding. Oh, I still gotta do aluminum too, huh? So maybe the video after this, we'll do pulse welding, then we'll check out the aluminum welding features, try to come up with some project, and uh, then we'll raffle this guy off. And you wanna win this. It is nice. Um, I wouldn't mind keeping it. So, I, and another thing is now I feel really good about recommending this to people. So, anyway, until uh, next time. And if you want to get some of these cool welding uh, supplies that I stock, you can go to uh, Monkey Fabrication Garage. It's monkeyfabgarage.com and uh, go to welding supplies, and all those GLS cups are in there. Um, tungstens, welding kits, starter kits. Like if you're just buying a kit and you want to get like all the filler wires and the tungsten and the torch parts you need to get started and all you have to do, you know, besides that will be find your argon, get gloves and a helmet. Uh, that kit, those kits are available too. So yeah, thanks for checking, tuning in, checking out the vehicle. I hope uh, the vehicle <laughs> car guys, it's only, it's only on one thing. It's on my next, my next project that I want to buy. But yeah, so thanks for dropping in, checking out the, vi the uh, video. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your support with raising money for uh, parents of kids in need uh, with, with like terminal illnesses. And uh, it's a good cause. So thanks. Appreciate it. Mike Monkey Fab out.